Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to Growing Wisdom. Let's talk about this neem product. It's really going to help you control those insects in your garden. This is Azosol, and it's a product that is OMRI listed, and the folks at ArborJet actually are having me do this video to explain it, but I have been using it at my house now for about a year. Let me talk about why this product is so wonderful. It's a neem-derived product, so it's derived from the neem plant, and that's one of the things that makes it organic. And when you use it, there's a couple of different ways in which you can apply it to your garden. The two ways are basically you can spray it on the garden, or you can use a soil drench. Or if you want to use both a spray and a drench, use a sprench. As you read the directions for the Azosol, you'll see you can make up high concentrations or slightly lower concentrations of the product. The high concentrations work really well for the drench. The lower concentrations work really well for the spray. I tend to, if I'm using the drench and the spray, keep to the higher concentrations, at least at the beginning and especially if I have some insects that are a problem. It's recommended that the product's used every 7 to 14 days, but you might be able to get away a little longer with the drench, depending on how quickly your plant is growing. Now the thing is, is that the new growth won't be protected. So on some plants that grow a little bit slower, you might be able to knock it back to a little more than 14 days. If your plant's growing really quickly, you might need to use it a little more frequently. The time to apply the Azosol is when your plants are thirsty. That means that the soil's not really wet because then they're not gonna drink. And it also means that the soil's not really dry because then the Azosol mixed with the water is just gonna beat up and roll off. You kinda want a sweet spot in the middle. This product is really good for those insects that are hard to get to with contact sprays. Some of the pests it controls really well, everything from white flies to leaf miners, scale, mealybugs, thrips, aphids, all sorts of borers, mole crickets, and even mushroom flies. So for example, on this squash plant, it's a zucchini plant, I know that this is susceptible to borers, so it's a good idea to be using this regularly throughout the growing season. This way, if the eggs get laid on the plant by the adult form of the squash borer, and then it hatches and it goes into the plant, it's gonna die. There's many great things about Azosol, including the fact that it actually gets absorbed into the plant tissue, and that's why it prevents those insects that actually are inside the plant that you can't get to with other contact sprays. The product's non-oil based, it mixes super easy with water, and sometimes they actually put in a little bit of plant food and do some foliar feeding when I'm using it as well. When I first started doing vegetables and other plants, I was definitely not organic, but since I've become organic over the past couple of decades, it's products like this that really make it easy. I'm able to control the insects, get the product I want, and keep my plants healthy. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.